Hello everyone, today I'm going to be presenting about Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin was an English rock band formed in 1968 consisting of four members. Their sound was mostly influenced by blues, psychedelic, and folk, and to this day they're still considered to be one of the most innovative and influential bands that really shaped where rock is today. And in total, they released eight studio albums, as well as a couple live albums. And after they broke up, an album was released with a lot of um, unused songs that they had recorded but hadn't put in any um, previous albums. The first member is Jimmy Page. He played the guitar. He's actually the reason that Led Zeppelin formed because his band, the Yardbirds, um, the members decided to leave and he needed to recruit new people to finish out some tour dates so he ended up finding who became Led Zeppelin and they were originally the new Yardbirds and actually performed in the beginning um, at their first show under the name the new Yardbirds but eventually became into who we know as Led Zeppelin and he's credited for a lot of the original sound and lyrics of Led Zeppelin because it really was his initial image that created this band and who they were. And then as time went on, Robert Plant, the vocalist, he started actually writing lyrics and becoming more invested in the music as well. Leading us to Robert Plant. Um, he was the vocalist for Led Zeppelin. He gained a lot of his musical interests as a child and was actually supposed to be an accountant but chose to pursue music instead. And when he auditioned for Paige, he thought that there was something wrong with him because he was really good and Paige couldn't understand why he wasn't famous yet. Um, and so he immediately wanted him in the band. And since then, he's been well known for his long blonde hair and his um, really interesting stage performances. John Bonham was the drummer. He's actually the only member who died. He got his first drum kit at the age of 15 and is mostly self-taught. Um, he used the heaviest and longest drumsticks and referred to them as trees and was well known for his speed, power, fast bass drumming, and feel for the groove. And he's ultimately the reason, or his death is, that the band broke up. John Paul Jones was the bassist. He's actually born into a musical family, um, so it wasn't very different for him to choose that as a career. He originally was a really popular session musician, preferred by many big artists. And that's actually how he met Jimmy Page. And when he found out that Jimmy was looking for band members, he asked him if he needed a bassist. And he immediately said yes, because Page knew that John Paul Jones had so much talent already and that he would be a great fit. These are all the studio albums that they released um, and then the year that they were released. I think that my personal fave is probably Houses of the Holy or Physical Graffiti, um, and they're both very well critically acclaimed as well as commercially. All of these albums did hit top 10 charts as well. There were a few well-known hardships that the band faced that did impact their career. Starting in 1975, Robert Plant and his wife were in a really bad car accident in Greece and at the time the band was supposed to go on tour and they had to cancel all of the shows due to his recovery process and instead they were going to use the time to record their album Presence but he also couldn't be as much a part of that recording process as he normally would so it really affected the production of the album um, along with that tour and then in 1977 his son, Carrick, passed away, and he ended up going home for a while to obviously be with his family and try and recover through the everything, and he began to question his future um, with music and where he wanted to go, and ultimately did pick staying in the band and being a part of music 
and has since written many songs as a tribute to his son. And then lastly, in 1980, um, the death of John Bonham ultimately is the reason that the band broke up because they really felt that they couldn't go on with a piece of them missing and it wasn't someone that they felt like they could just replace and be happy with. So as a condolence to their friend and his family, they decided to just stop recording and touring as a band. Um, and since then, separately, they have each done th stuff with their own career, but they have never performed again as Led Zeppelin, and they never wanted to replace him with anyone else. Overall, Led Zeppelin had a really impactful influence. They're credited for influencing hard rock, heavy metal, and even some punk bands. They had a very interesting sound that was new for their time and has since inspired so many people. And in 1995, they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And altogether, um, with their albums, they sold over 200 million worldwide. And they really, during the time that they were gaining their popularity, led the movement from psychedelic to a really more rock and roll feel that we have today. And style-wise, they're most known for their long hair um, at one point because they all supported long hair. And I think that Robert Plant is probably the most known image that people get when they think of Led Zeppelin or at least their stage presence and his style on stage because he's said to have been very flamboyant and very just out there with his performance and they were a very popular band for people to see live and enjoy. That is the end of the presentation. Thank you so much for listening.